The 25-year-old shot and killed on the job, only serving the city for less than two years, but a dedicated man of the badge and his community. Just a somber scene of dozens of patrol cars and ambulance escorting the body of Officer Schuling from the medical examiner's office back to Rockwell, where he will be laid to rest. The 25-year-old was once on the track team at UNC Pembroke. The university sent us these photos for you. You can see him there in action. They also sent us photos of him presenting a senior project. WBTV's Paige Peroso joins us live now from Concord. Paige, um, what led to Shooping's death? And please walk us through these tough details. Concord police officers were responding to a crash car on the side of a ramp near the Concord Mills Mall. A crash car, but no driver in sight. That's when a woman drove up and said a man just tried to steal her car with her inside of it. An ALE officer plus two Concord police officers went to go look for that suspect. Then the Concord police chief said those officers then approached a man who matched the description of the carjacker and that man started shooting shooting at them. That's when Officer Caleb Robinson was injured and when Officer Jason Shooping was killed. Two other Concord police officers shot back at the shooter who was also killed during the incident. A long night for the Concord Police Department who are now grieving the loss of one of their own. There's no playbook for this. The Concord Police Department is comprised of a resilient bunch We're going to get through this. We're a big family. It's going to be tough. It's going to affect us in different ways for different lengths of time at different levels. The State Bureau of Investigation is now handling the rest of the investigation. For now, live in Concord, I'm Paige Peroso, WBTV on your side. All right, then. Thank you, Paige. A tough day for everybody. Um, this is a live look from our Sky 3. Um, Shooping served the city of Concord, but grew up in Rowan County. He was a local fella. Um, this procession bringing his body to the Powell's Station Funeral Home in Rockwell. You can see people there, first responders standing at attention as the body of Shooping arrives there. Um, all day we have been seeing um, um, people and pictures of people pausing and remember and, and, um, and giving honor to Jason Shooping's life and how he gave his life and gave his all for the betterment of society. Didi. Dedrick, U.S. Representative Richard Hudson releasing a statement early this morning after learning of Shooping's death. It reads in part, our thoughts and prayers are with the family of the officer we lost for a full and speedy recovery for the other officer injured and with all of the men and women who put their lives on the line every day to keep our community safe. 